Hi, I'm Nancy Kearns, editor of the Whole Dog Journal. In the November issue of the Whole Dog Journal, training editor Pat Miller discussed dog daycare. She talked about the benefits to some dogs with certain types of personalities and the potential hazards to dogs with other types of personalities. She also explained how to determine whether your dog is a good candidate for daycare. Today, I'm at the Canine Connection, a training and daycare facility owned by my good friend and trainer, Sarah Richardson. I'd like to take you on a mini tour of the facility and point out some of the features that I think every good dog daycare should have. I personally appreciate it when a daycare facility is built with some sort of accommodation for viewing the dogs at play. All daycare facilities should include some sort of double gate or airlock system that will prevent dogs from escaping when others are entering or exiting. It doesn't have to be fancy. Something as simple as this X-Pen set up just inside the gate will really help. A wide variety of toys should be available for dogs to play with to accommodate dogs with all different kinds of play styles, and the toys should be cleaned on a regular basis. Speaking of regular, it's ideal if there's an outdoor area where the dogs can relieve themselves. Staff members should offer the opportunity to the dogs frequently throughout the day. Of course, this area needs to be kept picked up and clean. None of the areas, inside or out, should smell strongly. All staff members should be educated about dog behavior and positive training methods so undesirable behaviors can be interrupted and redirected. Staff should be aware of which dogs make the most appropriate play partners. Isn't this nice? This group of dogs has been separated by size and play style. They are gaining some terrific socialization skills and getting some great exercise too. It's icing on the cake if the staff is able to work on some basic good manners training as well. However, I'd be uncomfortable with this exercise, in which the dogs are being asked to sit politely for a treat, if the staff used any sort of intimidation or forced-based techniques. This sort of force-free training, however, helps maintain order in the pack and supports a nothing-in-life-is-free or good manners training program. Dogs should have the opportunity to rest if they're getting tired or overwhelmed. Most daycare facilities institute a regular nap time or break time in the afternoon. If snacks or meals are fed, crates or pens should be provided so the dogs can relax with their food and not have to be vigilant about guarding it. Again, the Canine Connection is a great example of doggy daycare done right. Thanks for watching.